So you want me to play a seed that you always thought in every flow you're gonna die, you're gonna die, but somehow didn't die and then end up dying to the transient? Now, do you want to see me go through this thought process of I'm gonna die every flow? Or is that why you're telling me to play this seed? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll humor you. I'll, I'll humor you. But, uh... You didn't really sell the seed for me. You kind of told me things I don't want to experience. No, I'm kidding. Let's, let's give it a whirl. The book is broken. It needs a nerf ASAP. The book. You're talking about the book of stabbing? The book of stabbing is really strong. Yeah, they, they buffed the book of stabbing. And it's... It's insane. Because they made Malays rare. Especially strong in the si against the silent. I mean, also, and book stabbing is just strong. It's just non-stop smack in the face. It, buffer is not even a good option anymore because the defect, he had buffer. And you're like, oh, okay. He has like a turn where he does a big hit. And then, you know, but now buffer is not even that great. Yeah, book stabbing is insane. Okay, so let's go. We got... 1 HP, remove a card, or lose a gold max HP. Okay. I might go for the removal. Let's see if we can get an elite snipe. Potential elite snipe here, boom. And then we gotta fight another elite, which is eh, and then another elite, eh. Okay, not the path, not the play. Over here, we got elite, elite, elite. Nah, doesn't seem too good. Here we got... Potential elite snipe here, boom, and then boom, boom. I like this play if I go for the elite snipe, or I might just remove, to be honest. But, you know what? Let's keep it spicy. <clears throat> Let's keep it spicy. RNG, come on. Less RNG. Noxious fumes. Mmm, thinking about it. Terror, though, for the Predator and for the Slam Boss. So spicy, damn. Removal? Or we buy like quick slash dagger throw. Remove. So far so good. So I know elite snipe for us. That sucks. But I would say our deck is pretty good for an elite right now. Kill hook versus infinite blades. I'll do infinite. Hmm, poison's that flying knee. I'm thinking about flying knee here. I like how it works with, uh, what's that thing called? Predator. I like how it works with Predator. Alright, let's go. Laga, I'm not excited to see you. Alright, so I have some food here. I'm gonna eat some food. I hope you guys don't mind. Alright. I'm gonna be chilling food right now in front of you guys. It works really good with terror. I might do this and then go for the elite. Check this out. Smart? Maybe not, but it seems interesting. Oh, Vajra with Skewer? Hell yes. I'm gonna try this where I'm not gonna block at all. I'm not gonna attack at all and let the Mercury Hourglass do the work, but that is questionable. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I should science. Ah. I should have done. I mean, I would probably take damage anyways, though. That's no, fine. I think I was taking damage anyways. Because to set it up for the f second turn to be good, I would take damage in the first turn anyways. What's up, Todd Life? Get into lethal. I've done exactly what you've done. Nice. You went for the second elite and took the heal? Because that, that was kind of an interesting play that I did that I wasn't sure I was going to do. I might skip here. The tactician. Sneaky sucker. Uh, I might skip. Tactician and sneaky sucker. Imagine, first turn, Stormer Steel with this. That could be good. So that's potentially 8 times 5. Right? If I upgrade that, that's 8 times 7. Oh, shit. Aristocratica with the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Germ Bowl. I said that very weird, but thank you, man. Welcome. Appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, it's 56 that you can maneuver, right? But, like, that has to be good enough as a play, because it might be just dead in other terms, other times. Well, on other times, it could be 20 damage for two, which is not bad. And if you upgrade it, it could be 28 damage for two mana, which is not bad. Only problem is I need more defense, right? I don't mind it. I think the math in Summer Steel is pretty good. If with Vajra and if I upgrade it, it's not bad. I'm getting past the Ascensions on Enclave, but I'm getting stuck on the Huntress tips. I would say get a little bit more front-loaded damage. And try not to force the energies. Try not to force this whole poison idea. Like, oh, I want poison. I'm going to pick all these poison cards and try to get... Hope that I get Catalyst. Just take the best cards that you can get for the next couple fights ahead. And make sure that you can win the next fight, the next elite, win this, the boss that you're about to fight. And don't try to force any synergies. And also, yeah, front loaded damage for things like backstab and predator, you know. They're good. It's good. It's good stuff to have. Just take good value cards. And I would say uh, Act 1 would be a little bit more offensive. I, I, Storm Shell looks interesting, but I, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. Although it was looking very interesting. I think Infinite Blade is not bad. Upgrade. So how much damage is this going to be right here? 
32. Rather not take any damage here. I don't want to take two damage. <sighs> There's no reason to take that two damage. Because this guy doesn't scale. I mean, I guess you could argue that you take the two damage because you want to kill him quicker so that you don't have to take this damage to the face. And I agree with that. I miss how to use a weak spot here then. Take two damage regardless. Because if I would have done that predator then, I think I would have probably had lethal. It's all good. But I did waste the potion. Well laid, yes. Um Infinite Blades upgrade? Sure. It's not a bad fight, let's see. Alright. That brings him down to 77. Oh no! I forget about Mercury Hourglass. Shit. Damn, that was not the split I wanted. I guess we do Ghost in Jar here. Hmm. That's like a good advice, huh? Hmm. No energy relic. I think I might take that lizard tail here. Honestly. I can get just one more card per turn because I already have Bag of Prep, right? So, my Bag of Prep is my starting relic. Boom. Oh, the same thing. Let me just take this and get more card draw. Or... Take the Lizard Tail because my deck is lacking defense. Now, what we could do here with the Ring of the Serpent is that we can pick up things like Deflects because we have three energy. And we'll have more card draw to play things like Deflects and cheap stuff like that. Um, but I do think this is the safer pick because we have no defense. I'm probably gonna have to proc this. I'm curious to know what you took, Chrissy, because I feel like the ring serpent could be cool if I can strike, you know, picking up the zero cost defense and stuff. But I think this is just better though for the first couple bits of back two. Better go Pandora. Pandora, <laughs> get rid of all my defense. But if Mr. Tell wasn't one use, then that would be kind of too good. Nah, no, I can't transform, guys. That'd be crazy. I'm gonna go for the Ring of Serpent. I'll do a Ring of the Serpent. Yeah, I had no balls, unfortunately, Teppo. It was a freak accident. I would appreciate it if you don't remind me of it. <sighs> it was a tough time. Your, mo your mom was particularly wild that night. Okay, I'm just kidding. No, I honestly, no, no, I take that back 100%. I take that back. I don't like mom jokes. 
I think it's uncool. Let's take that back. And I'm sorry. I don't mean that. Don't mean that. different space right now. No. A rich Alright, I'm done eating, guys. Let me, let me finish this real quick. I actually think it's like 10%, 15% RNG, and like 90% skill. Because I think City Spire outcomes are very, very different from player to player, and a lot of it has to do with card selection, knowing what fights, what they entail, and how to prepare for it, and how to maneuver it. The fact that one player could lose drastically or not even get to Ascension 20 and another player can shows that not that that person is getting really lucky, but there is an element of skill, so I would say primarily skill. But though there is RNG involved, it's not the predominant thing. Hopper percent reason to remember the name. <laughs> what I'm saying is you suck. No, I'm kidding. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Somebody can suck and somebody cannot suck, and it's not because somebody got this or that. I mean, sometimes it is because of that, but a lot of times it's not. Wow, I see what you're saying, Chrissy. This is getting kind of, uh, getting kind of spicy in terms of my life. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Forty-two. Forty-two is not. Killing them. I think I like flying better than Skewer here because it provides energy. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Last knife. If that was going to be doubled, it wouldn't be lethal unless I used the strike, of course. That's what I... Hmm. Like 26 plus like 36, that's lethal. Is it uh, worth it? If I get to neutralize, then yes. Ouch, yikes, 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 all right. Okay, we'll rest. Fruit juice, okay. Couch up Shoho, who's the boss? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna skip. Oh my god. Alright, I can see why I feel like I'm gonna die. Yes, I'm getting that feeling right now. Non stop. I'm getting that feeling right now. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, but shit. it's like it's painful. Hmm. I want to do glass knife now, but I also kind of want to not take damage to the face. But my next couple turns, I don't have defense at all. 
So I feel like I gotta rush this guy down. In fact, I, I might die in this fight, Chrissy. Uh, I'm being honest with you. Maybe this is the play. So that I could try to get Terror Skewer. Yo, thank you so much, Nate Fizz Dizzle Dog. Welcome, buddy. Play Mega for more health? Yeah, I, I will if it gets down to it. I will, I will play the, uh, the food trees if it comes down to it, but right now I'm trying to, like... I don't know if I should block and hope. I have two defense coming up. And I have a lot of damage coming up as well. So if I go full face, try to kill him before he kills me. You had a rest before this fight? Are you telling me I got this before? Oh my god, see? If I got the rest first, I don't mind. 18 life? Eh. So Futris is gonna have it. It doesn't need to happen right now. That's not the, that's not important. Important what I, is what I play here. Um, so if I do this, let's see. It's in 12. Uh, it's in 22 damage, right? It gets down to 52. And then he has 12 plated armor. <clears throat> 64 damage. Let's say on one of the one of the turns I get like terror neutralize. Ah damn dude. I'm probably dead here, boys. No, I'm not gonna do piercing. I was thinking instead of being piercing, well, I'll do like defense survivor. Well, piercing would be the full defend here. Although I don't think that's the right play. Of course, you got a rest before that though. That's insane. So I survive, but barely. Now maybe I do make him vulnerable this time. We're actually gonna survive crazy enough i think we're gonna survive crazy enough i actually think we're gonna survive because next turn i have skewer i could do it now technically but next turn is guaranteed lethal is it not because a part of me is thinking like to do backflip and survivor to defend in full but i also want to just do this This is really a seed where I feel like I'm gonna die. Chrissy, you weren't lying. This is the epitome of feeling like I'm gonna die. So this is how much. Um, well, this is just better first. Whew, okay, let's rest. Blur dodge and roll. Take the blur. Okay, no problem. Easy, not even close. Duplicate a card in my deck. Duplicate a card in my deck. Well, at this point, I'm thinking I want to duplicate something defensive. I might duplicate the blur. Or might even duplicate the defense. Plus, it seems a little silly, but like... I'm thinking either the blur or the defense plus. Yo, Discoto with the Almost six months five months in a row. Correct. Welcome back. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, I think the Fan Plus is really nice. Although Blur would make sense. Because it helps a lot against this guy. To have more Blurs, because that means I can guarantee, or at least help guarantee that I have X's block for his big attack. 
but it's also three less block. I'm gonna go for the blur. Ten plus was a valid play though. Okay. And do we rest again or do we upgrade? I feel like we can probably squeeze an upgrade. Or is that greedy? It's greedy, isn't it? It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm doing well, Vanessa. I'm doing really well. Uh, how are you doing? I'm gonna rest just to, you know, keep my knickers in a nice and orderly fashion. And just scrolls whatever. I mean, with meter gen and shrink, that's actually really good. What am I saying? Said whatever to that. There means nothing if you can't generate X's block. You're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. I see, I want to do blur, but I also kind of want to just do damage. So we're doing three damage AoE every turn. Uh-oh. We have Skewer, which means... I don't have Lethal. Well, he's gonna get down to 40. And I would have 33 damage. But if I strike now, I have lethal. So I take 3 damage to have lethal next turn. Hope oh, that doesn't bite me in the butt. Oh, I forgot about infinite blades. Oh my god. So I had 38 damage. Still wasn't lethal. But I totally forgot about that. I'll take the dash. All the slices not bad. Dash has block. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That helps a lot. And now I'm a little bit happy about the blur. With infinite blades, we have ninja scroll. Don't have that many other block generators. I mean, uh, ship generators. That helps a little bit. Still not perfect yet. We definitely need to get like some cloak and daggers and stuff. All right, I'll upgrade the dash. Okay, we add a card, which Cloak and Dagger is looking very, very, very mighty. More so than Adrenaline. This is the only time where I feel like Cloak and Dagger is better than Adrenaline right now. That's just, if I upgrade that, that's really nice. Yeah. Adrenaline does help with our energy problem, but that's Cloak and Dagger. And even Deflect is nice, but that's Cloak and Dagger. It's gotta be Cloak. Now, we could do an Elite, but I don't think we can. Like, I'm saying we could if we want. Die. What could lead? This could be Book of Stabbing. That would be probably Insta Death. The um, Gremlin Leader I probably can handle. Slavers, eh. I think it's very risky. Accuracy? No, no, no. Accuracy... So the reason why accuracy is not good is because all I have is ninja scrolls for shivs, right? The reason why cloak and dagger is good is because I can play the shivs to get defensive kunai. Unless you're just joking, of course. Haha. -ha. Okay, we got up for cloak and dagger. Blade Dance, my god, it's getting better and better. It's, okay, I'll take it. We have a Strength Pot as well. One, two, three, bing! One, two, three, bing! Bam. Bam. Keep in mind, when you play Screw for Zero, it still counts towards Kunai. Now that helps a lot. This manages his little freaks. 
do want to get rid of his artifacts as well because the artifacts are going to be nice to get the weaken. Um, I want to get another de dexterity here, so I'm going to do this. Which means I'm going to take some damage. Is this worth doing black pot? Maybe it is because after this turn, I'm going to have so much dexterity or I'm going to be getting more and more dexterity that the black pot becomes less necessary. Whereas right now in the scaling up process, I want to save my life. But it's not full use of the block because right now he's doing 9 excess and this is going to be 12. Still feel like 9 damage I should mitigate. Get an intangible pot? Okay. So, intangible pot helps a lot with the hyper beam. That does make a difference. So, I, I do want to get rid of his artifacts. And I would love to get terror on him, but I don't think I can wait or guarantee that oof feels bad that's a feels bad man gotta get the neutralize on him as much as possible this is hurting Predator is nice because I can help kill this guy right here and then also get more draw for his big attack. I would love to get the weaken. Well, to be honest. So I get the blur and I was gonna do... What's, what's interesting is that if I do blur, survivor, and then skewer, I get the dexterity. I think, I, I think I like this play better. So I get the dexterity, boom. Six dexterity. We'll hold on to this, why not? 34 block is pretty good, especially if we can draw into the weekend. Although the weekend is... I would have to get lucky, so let's see. Okay. I like the dexterity, but I also kind of want to just... Not take this much damage to the face. Well... Honestly, if I get the dexterity, I can this would be plus twelve, so I only take one damage. Which is not bad. So we we used terror already, so that's gonna be kinda sucky. I think I'll keep using blur. So far, so good indeed. Because these blurs are actually saving me. So the f blur that I ended up duplicating is being really nice. And I can actually get another kunai here, which I think is worth it. I would keep doing blur. I think from now it's just smooth sailing. That's a lot of dexterity, boys. And we got blurs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> the ball like, what's up, man? Easy. Uh, we might stabilize, Chrissy. I don't know. I don't know. We might stabilize. It's looking kind of promising. We've got Nightmare, Thousand Cuts, and Rayford. So Thousand Cuts is not bad for AoE if, if we are lacking that a little bit. And we have the Shibs to kind of supplement it. Nightmare is really nice. If I can do Nightmare on the Cloak and Dagger, then I feel like a damn king. Nightmare on the Blur, I feel like a king again. And then Rayford eh, is not the option anymore so i think it's nine or a thousand cuts now aoe is a consideration but we do have mercury hourglass um and if we do nightmare on something like cloak and dagger we can potentially get aoe by using more free ships so i might do the nightmare energy problems yeah 
hoping it ends like now. Damn, we actually got offered wrist blade. Is that better than an energy relic? I don't think so, but you gotta think about it for a second. I don't think so. Probably take him to him. I mean, it's not cr it's not bad, right? We do have Ninja Scroll, right, with Mutagenic Strength. That's crazy first turn opening. M Ninja Scroll, Mutagenic Strength. This oh, no. Let me science it, please. I wasn't trying to click it. I wasn't trying to click it. I was demonstrating. No. I'm trying to win, boys. No, I'm sciencing this. I'm trying to win. No, 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 Energy is pretty important. Right, we have a lot of gold. Forget, forget what you just saw. Wrist blade doesn't exist. It's not a real relic. All right, get it out of your dreams. We have four upgrades. Boom, 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 boom. But no shop. So four upgrades could be nightmare upgrade, blade dance upgrade, blur, 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 welly plans upgrade, or we can do a shop. Get one less up. Okay, let's go for the shop. Shop is pretty high priority. My hand is too full. My spoon is too big. Wrecked. Always time around like relationships. Yeah, it's true. You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong. Ow. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Okay. Technically, I don't gotta do anything. Because he's gonna kill himself. But I'll take two damage. For the sake of time. Um, Dagger Spray for AoE, Flechette, I'm Maneuver. Um, I'm thinking Dagger Spray, but i also thinking, nah. I might regret not taking that. Okay, obtain a rare relic, up upgrade all cards. Yet 999 gold, and you get two curses. Now, we can remove one of those curses at the shop, and we go to the shop with 999 gold. But then there's another normality in our deck, which is problematic. Still kind of a nice option, because it's a lot of gold. Or get a rare relic. It's a lot of gold. Rare relic could be uh, calipers. Let's go for the gold. Fuck it. I'm dead in this fight. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Oh my goodness. I should have thought about that. Hmm. Not like this. Wait, there's another one in my deck, so what if next turn is the same thing? Okay. I mean, we're taking so much damage for this, so this is kind of punishing. Better be worth it at the shop. Shop better be worth it. Backstab, play dance. So, play dance helps me get Kunai going, right? But hacks that with mutagenic strength. Hmm. What I usually say to people with unused prime sub, I say to people with unused prime sub, I say, you know, top right of your screen, you can check if you have a prime sub available. Now, prime is something that, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime sub every single month to a streamer of your choice. Now, if it's unused and just sitting there, you're kind of wasting money that could just be given to somebody else, a free, free money to a streamer. So, I would say, do you like wasting free money that you could be given oh, somebody else? Oh, there it is. Thank you, buddy. Welcome. Thank you for the search prep. Now, I don't know if I want to do Blade Dance, because we are going to get Time Eater. Right? But this helps get Kunai, and Kunai can outscale him. And I can't see what he's doing, but I can hope that I'm doing the right move. Or Backstab Plus. 
El Widow, yeah, El Widow, uh... Give not to have zero defense turn one. That's true. That is true. And backstab will make that more possible because of Ninja Scroll and backstab. Yeah. I do play Dean. I don't even need any of this actually. I'm doing Blade Dance. I mean, I'm doing backstab. I don't care. Okay. Chemical X for Skewer. Whatever. Remove Normality. Can we extra skewers? Not bad. Whatever. Uh, bottle of flame. If only this was considered a um, attack. Not really the best shot. Glass knife the flame. Um. Hmm. I might do flash of steel bottle flame, no no no. So I'll do chemical X. I'll buy I'll buy the strawberry. I can buy the fruit juice. Is there another shop? If we get lucky, yes. Bottle of the neutralize. Ah, bottle of the neutralize. So there's some important potions. We do have the artifact potion, which could be useful. Can I drink the fruit juice now? Okay, we'll get the artifact potion, which could be useful for um another potion I may get. Like dexterity potion. Or steroid. And we'll do this for neutralize. Although, if I'm thinking like for the hallway fights, I think skewer would be nutty because of chemical X. But for the boss fight, I'm thinking neutralize because the weakened is so important. So that's what I'm doing. Now we have burst, which could be kind of nice. Like burst cloak and dagger and burst blur. But. Against the time meter, we gotta be careful about that. And for the most part, yeah, I'll do blur. I'll do burst. I don't mind it. And I think flash still helps with get kunai, right? Okay. We still need to remove the neutralize. I mean, the normality. Not bad. Nah, screw accuracy. I have a rule that I don't take accuracy. I also have a rule that I get normality on a turn where I don't want it. So, there's that. Is there ever turn you want normality? No. Blur versus skewer. He's doing a big old hit right now. Hope this is decent enough for you. Nope, not at all. I know it was a big hit too. Don't be normality. Ah, that was risky. That was risky. I took a little bit too much damage, I would say. Finisher? No, no, no. Um. I, I took so much damage that I feel like I have to rest, but at the same time, I think upgrading the Blade Dance is not bad. And I think upgrading the Nightmare is interesting. But that was quite a bit of damage, huh? I'm not gonna rest here. Let's hope that these question marks are removable. That would be amazing. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's this guy. Wonder Mallet can just really mess me up, actually. Wonder Mallet and I'm GG'd. Hmm. Don't get normality, low forehead. Oh, shit. I'm gonna normality. I'm gonna do nightmare normality and see how it, see how that works. I might do nightmare late glass knife too. So I'm not gonna draw. 
Because I'm scared it's going to be normality. Although I think last life would be interesting. Strength pot. I am trying to hold on to it, but do we need it? Uh, maybe. I think I lose the normality. Yeah, we got to get a blur. Or if we do nightmare glass knife, if we get normality next turn, all we have to do is glass knife, glass knife, glass knife. And draw last and try to get the normality. Exactly. Exactly. I also have survivor. It's true. So I have survivor coming up with normality potentially. Or I might draw it right now with the flash of steel or the backflip. So I think nightmare glass knife is not a bad play. I'll play the shrink pod just to be safe. I'm gonna do this. Just, that's also to hedge my bets a little bit. Ooh, that's one of the curses. Now, backflip's nice because backflip can help me draw into survivor. Fuck. Okay. But we have glass knife, glass knife, glass knife. That is. 66 damage. That's quite enough. And then we have Terra Skewer again, which is quite enough, I would say. I would say. I don't know if it's true. Predator is actually... Hmm. Glass, glass, pred. I mean... To get more card draw. That's another chance that I get normality on the next turn. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not, because I think Terror Skewer is enough, because I have Chemical X. I'd rather not do Predator. What if I hold on to normality next turn and just... No, no, no. I was going to say I have Survivor, but that's stupid. Um, we'll do Blur. Even though I'm not going to use it next turn. Damn, so he did 70 damage. God damn, dude. So this is going to be a shit ton of damage. Because this is going to be 19 times 5. Okay, got one more turn to survive. Survivor, just in case we get normality. That's my, my thing. At last! Are we dead though? Easy. The prediction. Uh, we got heel hook for Kunai. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're good. I really want to get rid of this normality, really bad. Oh, if I if I knew it was gonna be a shop, I would have saved money. I would have saved money. I would have saved money. I'm gonna serve pot for the artifacts. But what if that's a shop as well? Fuck. I'm taking this. I'm taking this. Oh, that's a little late, buddy. Good instincts. Good instincts. This seems like a shitty card, huh? It's, it's a zero cost way to. It's like deflect. What I do? I want to deflect in my deck. I don't mind deflecting my deck. Ah, dude. Ha Actually, having this normality is really bad. I really should have saved money for removal. That's probably gonna get me killed. Normality is terrible. I could have got dagger throw to help manage it, which is another consideration. I used every single card in my first turn. That feels nice. This turn is not gonna feel nice because they didn't attack at all, and I just spent my piercing will, and I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead. 
we can expect like a le like 10 times 2 here. Maybe like 11 or 12. Probably another like 9 times 2 or 11 times 2. I don't know. It's a lot of damage coming my way. Eats a lot of damage. Should I do Stereopod just to stay alive? Damn, Stereopod can only kill that guy in the middle. Maybe I just kill the guy in the middle and then call it a day. <laughs> oh. Could have been worse. I have to save on uh, Survivor here because of normality. Normality will mess me up. I didn't want to waste Terrapot, but mm, felt necessary. I think we got this one in the bag right here. Dodge and roll, yes. A part of me wants to go for the event to try to find a removal. Let's go this way just in case. Okay, so what what I can say about this fight is that um oh, you'll know ski with the Twitch Prime. Welcome, buddy. What's up, Silo? These guys will get killed by the um Hourglass, but I also don't want to leave him up. Wait, I have a lot of damage though. Like a lot of damage. This right here is 14 times 6. It's 84 damage. If you add dagger throw to that, to Glass Knife rather, we have a. Uh, 24 times 80. That's 80, right? 5 times 10. I miscounted. Oh my god. I even, I even looked at the math in my head. It was 50 times plus 70, and I still miscounted twice. What's wrong with me? Oh, now I gotta rest. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Leg sweep. I guess we're just gonna do it with normality. That's fine. That's alright. Oh my god, again? Bro, leave me alone. Skewer just wins. This this turn at least. I could afford to do Predator maybe. Or like flying me for next turn. Normality, please don't mess me up, man. Oh, this is a bad turn, boys. I gotta be hopeful and this doesn't draw into normality. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm thinking burst, defend, defend. Now, uh, I guess I'm forced to do survivor now. Eh. It's not good either. It's not that good of a turn. Not, not that bad of a turn either though. Should I do dodge and roll now just in case? Because next turn I'm getting normality. And how am I handling that? How am I handling that? Well, if I don't get a rally next turn, then that's fine. If I'm getting it next turn, how am I handling it? Poorly. That's the answer. I, 
could energy pot and dodge and roll now. Just to help next turn. Need to hold survivor? Yeah, I need to hold survivor. So the problem was that I didn't hold my survivor and I blocked an excess amount. It was unnecessary. Should have held on to it for this turn. This is my this is my fault. Of course, it's no one else's fault. It's the Dame's transient fault. Okay, we can do. Let's hope that we don't get our melee next turn. I don't know if I should do dodge and roll though. I think I should. Yeah, it feels bad, but. Okay, we'll make the best out of it. So we got. We're probably dead. One, two, three. Yeah, he's not weakened either. Oh, this is probably death. This is probably death. I need to hold survivor. Yeah, I know block is more potent, but he's not weakened right now. And this is the second to last turn. Now, of course, if I had normality, I could be doing attacking with it, and it'd be fantastic. So we have 40. Like, we're not dead, but it's gonna hurt a lot. Oh my god. I didn't want to rest. I didn't want to rest, you know that, right? This might be the rip of me, though. The rip of me? It's 31 plus. Damn, that, that's probably rip, isn't it? No, block is more potent, right? So this is what... So block is 11, and this is doing... Like, 10 and a half per energy. But if I do this first, then the block is actually 12, and therefore better than Predator. No, but this is also getting... Doubled because of the vulnerable, so this is gonna be... Like, 15 and a half. So it's better than block. Was that right? Yes, that was right. Now... Block is better now. I think we're dead though. So we, that's 69 plus 12. And he wasn't weakened. I believe he does like 80. I'm blocking for 71. If he does 80, I'm dead. What did I say? Demanded 80. And I was dead. Uh, I could have won that by holding a survivor. Damn it. Damn it. I knew it too. I was like, I don't know if I should do this. And I did it anyways. Alright. Alright. I think I could have won it. Oh well. Defect. Defect.